Hello everyone, Crydax here, and welcome back to the Frosty Planet. Um, we uh, played a little bit since the last episode, kind of just trying to figure out some of this Bamoth stuff. I think I grabbed another one, because one of them already died, right? I think so. I'm trying to open up some, some new plume squash access, so hopefully these wild plume squashes will be enough. Um, I could make ethanol. It's a decent amount. 15 kilograms of ethanol comes from, se what, seven and a half kilograms of wood? Is that right? Uh, I've already forgotten what the ethanol, I should make one of these anyway. Uh, ethanol distiller, no, it's the other way around. So 15 kilograms of ethanol is 30 kilograms of wood. So that means I need an entire flux worth of wood just to keep one of those running, which I don't love. Um, wait, the ethanol distiller doesn't require power? No, it does. Okay. I'm just on the plumbing. Gotcha. So I'll build that there. And then we will continue our heavy watt wire over. How's our extra power thing working over here? It looks like it's running now. Sensor seems to be correct. Filter's still working properly. I don't remember if I did this during the episode or after, but I added another uh, output over here so we can just have two locations where the gas can kind of compress itself into two kilograms per tile. Um, at the end of the day, it's still not quite enough because you can see like down here, the oxygen is only 1300. So we really need those high pressure. Um, Watch your mahoozits which require, where are they? They require plastic. And plastic, I won't have for a bit longer because that needs like petroleum or something. So it's a bit of a bummer. I blocked off these tiles so the hydrogen would be able to, you know, just easily come over and up to here. So all the hydrogen should end up there, I hope. And yeah, that's just free power that we get once in a while from this setup. Which, now that I removed the filter... Um, also, this Atmo sensor would be way better if it was closer. So I think I'm actually going to copy that and build it there. And I'll have to unlock this. Um... The reason is just that in this corner tile, obviously the gas density is changing a bit more. And I think it's best if it's more central where I'm measuring the uh, pressure. So I'll get that built. And so we've got the wood burner running, which is not super efficient, but it's making power from wood, which I have plenty of for now. So I'll I'll keep it going. Okay, there's my bam bamini egg. Sweet. So that'll incubate, and we'll have another Bameth. The problem is feeding the Bameths. One of these is going to die soon from age, right? Oh, no. The old one must have kicked the bucket already. All right, how do I make these? Bameth patties, phosphorite. I can crush them into phosphorite, which I don't really need more of. So that's a bummer. <gasps> I can make warm coats. Aha, reed fiber, four units, warm coat, one unit. And hopefully that's warm enough. Oops, this button, one, two, three, four. Hopefully that's warm enough and we'll actually freaking have um, warm coats for everybody. And then they won't be dealing with the constant you know, sadness about being cold. Um, where is the... Oh, this was one of the frostproof. Who's not frostproof? Edison, you're not frostproof, right? Properties... Insulation thickness. Oh, okay, the suit does add a little bit of insulation. So then, where's, like, the body heat? Hmm. Well... Not 
Oxygen, body temperature. Interesting. So chilly surroundings, they're like Bulby is cold. I don't know what triggers them to have to go use the the wood heater though. That's kind of the main thing I don't fully understand how it works. But yeah, like right there, Lodro. Recovering from cold. So is that because their body temperature was too low? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know how that works. Where are you now, Lodro? You're over here. And you should be getting cold, right? Yeah, I don't know how this works. They even have clothing and they still got cold. Interesting. Okay, well, regardless, having some warm coats should, I presume, be enough. It's very unclear to me how the, the coldness part works. Um, but yeah, so the ethanol distiller's here now, and it makes polluted dirt and CO2. 333 grams of polluted dirt. All right. Um, let's just put the ethanol into... liquid thing. Well, should I put it just into a reservoir? Probably. Rather than... Oh, uh, when I say reservoir, I mean an actual, like, put it out into the world. Or should I just keep it in a liquid reservoir? Is there a way to... Basically a pitcher pump, but from ethanol in the pipes? to From pipe to bottle? It doesn't seem like there is. That's so weird. I still don't understand, like, gas has that. There's a gas bottling station. Why is there not a liquid bottling station? Am I, am I really missing? Um, what's it called? Gas, that's where I saw it. Canister filler, yeah. Piped gases into canisters. So where is that for fluids? For liquids. Sorry, gases are fluids too. Um, so that's rocket storage to and from pipes. But it really doesn't seem like that exists for liquids. Does that, does that feel weird to anybody else? I mean, maybe that's just that way on purpose as a difficulty thing. It just feels weird that there's no liquid canister filler, basically. And canisters are for gases only, right? It's not like canisters work for fluids and gases. It does say gas canisters specifically. But let me let me research that. It's it's only basic research anyway. Let me just research that just in case that happens to work with liquids too, and that's what I've been looking for the whole time. Okay, so yeah, cold bedroom. But what determines... Uh, I wish it would tell me. What determines the coldness? 
I mean, obviously, the temperature being, you know, zero degrees Celsius or whatever is the, uh, is the problem, but I wonder what officially, what's the actual temperature cutoff that makes it cold versus not. And let's keep that ethanol circulating. It doesn't cost me anything. And what do we need? Negative 14. I I hate this. Oh, it's so frustrating. I don't know why this makes me so mad, but it's like you can't get it to the exact number you want, and that really bothers me um, that you can't just nudge it. I'm tempted to go see if I can download a mod, literally, just to fix that. <laughs> it's so frustrating to me. Um, yeah, this is good. Keep getting that cold from down here. New printables are available. Let's grab some barbecue, why not? And... Yeah, how many flocks in do I have? I don't know how many eggs I have, but I really want nine... I want a max of nine critters, because now I'm removing the eggs and storing them in one of these. Yeah. So. Alright, research is complete. Canister filler, canister emptier. What are the odds that a canister filler... It does just say gas. I'm guessing it... Yeah, there's no fluid connection. That is so weird to me. Pitcher pump. Manually pumps liquids, and it has to be a liquid liquid. So we basically have to do a liquid vent plus a pitcher pump. It just doesn't make any sense to me why that has to be that way. Liquid filter, liquid... I feel like I'm missing something, but I can't find it. I can't find a way to go directly from pipes to pitchering. The reason I care is because I'm going to need to deliver ethanol directly to, um, like dupes are going to have to pick up ethanol to feed. Oh, no, I could use the, the hydroponics tiles to grow the plume squashes is what I'm thinking about right now. So maybe, maybe. Yeah, maybe we don't do it that way. Okay, so let's do plumbing, liquid pipe, um, how do we, so this has to come over, they don't need to be insulated, because it's ethanol, it can be cold, um, and I need to do some bridging here, which is kind of a mess. And then go down through an airflow tile. Jeez. Um, like that. That should do it. And then I need to add an airflow tile there. So then we can make ethanol. Um, Logic activation parameters. If it is low, sends a green signal. I, I like that it stays green until it gets to there and then is red until it gets to there. That's really nice. So you don't have to, ba basically that keeps you from having to make RS latches, which, uh, requires a lot of logic gates and stuff. So it's nice that it kind of auto RS latches that for you. So green signal will come up and activate you, which is a lot. And actually it's gonna add up in terms of the iron cost here. There we go. 
So we'll build that. And that should make it so that we only do ethanol distilling when we need ethanol. Perfect. And um, we'll go for 50% full for now. And then we should always have a good supply of ethanol going. Um, I should have extra warm coats now. Is there an easy way to assign clothing? Or do I have to, like, go find the clothing and then assign it? Probably do it that way. Alright, you go to Lodro, Warm Coat 2, go to Luan, Warm Coat 3, go to Metamike. Sweet Corn Whiskey... Uh, I should have looked at who can handle the cold. Because I have two, at least, frostproof. Um... <sighs> so many things i always forget where to find it it's in bio okay sweet corn whiskey does not need anything because they're frost proof and meta mike is frost proof so then meta mike should not have the clothing so then this last one should go to bulby Shivering instead of sleeping. Okay. Hopefully, now that they have the warm clothing, that makes them immune to the cold bedroom issue. I worked pretty hard to get that. So I hope that's true. Um, and now I should be able to build farming, tile, hydroponic farms. And what's the plume squash requirements? Let's make sure we know. They need to be cold, just the same as uh, pike apple bushes. Air pressure kind of doesn't matter. Atmosphere's happy with whatever. They just need ethanol. And then we get plume squashes. Okay. So let's deconstruct you guys. Mind that. I think I'm just gonna grow them over here. That feels like a nice, easy spot. And... Build some hydroponic tiles. I don't know how many I want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that enough to start? Plumbing. I need more granite, actually. Um, so this is granite. Why don't I... Airflow tile. How do I want to do this? And like that. No! Shoot. I can't undo. Okay, copy the automation wire. There we go. Um, and mine out all that. Where else is some easy access granite? Right here. Plumbing, um, liquid pipe. Uh, this is getting kind of messy. This can split off. I just realized I'm prioritizing that loop over the cooling loop. Um, it's almost like I need a valve so we don't send 10 kilograms at a time. Because if that's turned on, then we're not going to get any cooling of our water. Our metal refining water, which, by the way, I should refine some more iron. I have eight tons of it. So let's go with 20. Let's go with two tons of iron there. Should be enough for a bit. And then... Anyway, let's go back to building granite pipes here.
Boom. And then a liquid bridge over there. I'm okay with that splitting. So that'll send ethanol over to my bloom squash. Okay, sweet. And we will fast forward. And by fast forward, I mean uh, for you <laughs> until that's done. Okay, quick aside, I'm curious if red signals overpower green signals. I'm guessing green overpowers <coughs> red, because that's kind of like on versus off. But, yeah, because that one's sending red, that one's sending... Okay, good to know. So I'll just... I don't have to delete that, basically, is what I'm saying here. Um, we did run out of power, and I'm curious if it's because it's not running constantly enough, because this... This self powers, right? So this shouldn't, and it's only draining a tiny, tiny bit per cycle. You know, it's only 400 joules per cycle, which, you know, is only 50 grams of hydrogen. Yeah, per cycle. So I am a little lost on why this ended up not being self-sustaining. It's probably because of the new Atmos sensor that I installed somehow. I'm not sure. Okay, a lot of building has gotten done and our ethanol is now properly hooked up and we are supplying all of our plants with ethanol. It does, interestingly enough, look like it consumes on a consistent basis. So even though it says 15 kilograms a cycle, that's, you know, 15,000 grams per cycle, which is like, what, uh, 10 and 25 grams per, you know, second. So it does look like it's kind of constantly consuming that rather than periodically consuming. Um, I would like more plants, but for now we're fine. So that's using up a bit of my ethanol. If we look at the contents, it'll go down slowly, but pretty, pretty slowly. Ethanol distiller is disabled by automation grid because this still isn't connected. Um, is that because it's unreachable? Yeah, because of the changes I made over here. I need one more ladder to be able to get over there. And how's all my air pressure stuff doing? I guess it would be nice if we could let that CO2 flow over. That would be cool. A bunch of CO2 is getting stuck over here. Where is this water coming from? I literally just swept all of these ice pieces. Does ice partially melt? Like, what is going on here? So I literally just did this. I swept all of the... I mopped it, and I swept these tiles of ice, which comes from the water freezing. Is it, like, does it drip down from this? Is that what's going on? I don't actually know. I mean, it looks drippy. So is that what's happening? Um, it probably is, and I just didn't know that was a mechanic. So let's get reg regular airflow tiles there. Because there's still a lot of heat coming out of here. Speaking of, I need more water. So let's enable that bottle emptier again. Yeah, I still haven't got the best solutions for water. I'm well aware of that. But it is what it is. Um, okay, let's enable you. And I think for the cooling loop, I'm going to need to install... Oh, this is getting so messy. But I think I'm going to need to install a... A valve. Right here? Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, I shouldn't have done it that way. Be more careful. Oh, no. Now it's everywhere. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Okay, and I want the valve to be like five kilograms. And then it won't loop full ethanol tiles. And here comes our new ethanol. Surprisingly warm. I'm glad it has a ways to travel. It comes out at like 70 degrees. Okay, they are delivering that polluted ice way over to here, I think. Because that way, yeah, we don't have to deal with it. Now, Edison, did you just carry only 200 of something? Is that because not everybody has improved carrying yet? That is correct. I want all my dupes to have improved carrying. That, yeah, that'll add up. That value adds up over time. Um, wow. That still hasn't happened, huh? There's so many little errands that my dupes need to get done. All right, if I build a temp shift plate here, that will help um, to cool off the, the warm ethanol pipes and just help to cool off this general area, which is what we want. We are starting to warm up a little bit over here, though, which I don't like. I probably need to make this a pool of ethanol. Maybe I shouldn't mop up that ethanol. That's actually fine to stay there. That'll help. Temperature transfer. A bunch of it leaked down there. We do have a volcano over here. And we can use that magma to make steam and, and make power from a steam generator. So long term, that is free power. Um, we're a long way away from that. Harnessing a volcano is no easy feat. actually make yeah there's just so many issues here so we're constantly generating power for this and we're using up a lot of that to make ethanol right now which I think I'm okay with how much do we want 50% this is making how many kilograms half a kilogram per second. So 300 kilograms a cycle. Maybe I don't need this to be 50% full. How about 10% full? Five and 10. Uh, that's weird that it doesn't let me actually type 10. What the heck? What's the point of letting me type if I can't type? I can't type 10. What? That's super annoying. Okay. Cooling loop doesn't seem to be doing quite enough. This needs to be a radiant pipe. A couple tiles here.
Maybe with three Tim Shift plates, that'll cool things off enough. And then probably another Radiant. Uh, let's see, no, that's the other loop. Make those two Radiant as well. Utilities, Tim Shift. that equalizes the temperature a bit over here a bit better they finally get the mopping done they did good 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 okay they're getting stuff done slowly that's still I actually want to get this running again cuz it's I don't know how's our oxygen doing yeah we're still fine but it's kind of important. And it's free power. Oh, we got our little Bimini. He's so cute. Tiny baby. Five critters is crowded. How much space do bam Bamoths need? Jeez. It really should tell you in here how many tiles each one needs. Pretty, pretty weird that it doesn't like. I don't know. There's a there's a fine line between forcing your players to Google something and and giving them too much information. Like I do get that, but I think this is a bit beyond that. Yeah, I really need more cold over here. So then, why don't we... Can you build tiles over... Over ladders? You can. Then I want to do that. And then we'll deconstruct this ladder. That ladder. And we'll put a bottle bottle emptier there. Of course, now you made those unreachable. Nice work. I guess this will fix the problem. Okay, so then now I need to do what? Bottle emptier. Wait, did I delete? No, that was just the old one to feed into the system. I can delete that. Um, so I need plumbing. Bottle emptier. Or no, 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 no. Cancel, cancel. Um, this is easier than that. Uh, I should just do a liquid shut off. <laughs> of course, I made this really difficult for myself. Okay, what I'll do is I'll flip this upside down. Liquid shut off there. I'll do a bridge. Cross like this. I need a pipe like that, and then I have room for a automation switch here, so I can turn that on or off. Uh, I screwed up, and I still need a valve or a vent. I mean. 
Yeah, that's fine. And that'll make it so they can get down there. Okay, so that way we can let ethanol out to fill this at will. Is basically... Basically the idea there. Take a dusk cap seed, why not? Is this running again? It looks like it is. Uh oh. That's why things were weird. I had the signal set to be low, so it ended up pumping out when the pressure was low, and that's how you mess things up. There we go. There we go. Now we're getting that. Extra oxygen. Maybe I need two batteries. Maybe that's part of the problem, too. Yeah, that could be it. There we go, now we're getting some free juice back. Sweet. Okay. Now, hopefully I get a bit more hydrogen before that totally drains out. There we go. There we go. And then once this gets down to 10%, I'm gonna change that to 2%. So basically, they'll only come up here to run that if... No, don't disable the building. Wait, what? Did I hit disable building? Oh, I hit enter. Enter is the hotkey to enable and disable buildings. Right, right, right. Okay. So hopefully that's fixed for now. The temperature issue is a little better. At least those are growing again. Um... No power wire connected. Right. I forgot these require power. Do these constantly draw power? That's another question I have. Um, current load. No, they only draw power when it's uh, running. I didn't realize they drew power. What would be a better way to turn off pipe flow by player command instead of dupe labor that wouldn't draw power? Because it's apparently not a liquid shutoff. Um, I mean, that's definitely the easiest way to do it. Yeah, I don't really know of a better way. So then does the flow con completely stop if we're out of power? I guess I've never seen that happen before though. Isn't, hasn't this battery run out? Hmm. Interesting. But yeah, I definitely want this on. We're gonna, we're gonna let a bunch of ethanol come out into the world here. And we have a temp shift plate behind here, which helps. So that should keep things older. Negative 25 degrees colder. the idea anyway. Yeah, 
18, 17 by the time it's here. Negative 20 there. So we're trading 3 degrees, that's nice. Probably turn that off for now. How much ethanol's over here? Quite a lot. Is that moppable? No, it's too much. I would need to set up a pump. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, I mean, I could pitcher pump, but I don't have a bottle emptier. So again, they couldn't easily. I'd have to set up a bottle emptier here for ethanol. Which I guess I could do. I mean, it works. This doesn't rotate. Oh, right, 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 because it just goes underneath itself. Uh, so why don't I do that? I guess we do in the middle. Go down, so hopefully it flows into there. And, yeah. We got a lot of sucrose over here. Anything else interesting? Lots of iron ore. Tons of sand up there. What is that? Story trait. An unfamiliar building has been discovered. A fresh recruit and a useful new building. Interesting. Shipping container. I don't know what all this stuff is about. This is this is new since the last time I played. Curious what that would do for me. Someday we'll find out. But yeah, I feel like we've made good progress here. Um, that is for ethanol dumpage. We will enable auto bottling for it. Priority six. I've already got some ethanol bottles to dump. And soon we'll have all that down there. But yeah, I think we'll call this an episode. We got some some automated systems running, which is nice. And this should sustain itself for the most part. There, I guess there's a chance it ends up using all this power without getting another hydrogen blurb, blubble. But that shouldn't be possible, I don't think. And then once in a while we'll get hydrogen out to the mainland, which is also nice. Maybe we only go at a thousand grams. Try to try to make sure we're making the most of our power. Because whenever whenever these grab amounts that are less than 500 grams, that is going to be less power efficient. But then that's constantly getting to max gas pressure, so I don't know what's up with that. It doesn't the pressure doesn't seem to equalize very quickly. We can convince them we mean no harm. Well, I definitely don't mean any harm. So the body temperature of these is continuing to be a problem. Hmm. Probably because of that hot ethanol. And all just all the hot stuff over here. Um, is there a way I can easily make it better? I mean, I think we're doing it. We just have to keep looping, looping this stuff. I guess I can do more ethanol? Wait, where's the valve? Oh, right there. Yeah, let's just do the full amount again. We can cool things off a little faster. Yeah, 
Yeah, so the ethanol here is at negative 28. And the temp shift plate behind it is negative 25.7. Negative 25.6. Negative 25.3. That one's negative 21, so that still needs to cool off a bit more. Yeah, we're trying to bring all of this to negative 20, basically. I think we're making progress. We're trading 5 degrees, which is great. Oh, there we ran out of power, and it does indeed stop flowing. Unfortunate. New print goals. Sure, Sweetle larva. I don't know what a Sweetle is. What is a Sweetle? It eats sulfur and it excretes sucrose. Well, I already have a bunch of sucrose, so that's not that useful to me. I will let that turn into meat automatically. <laughs> that should happen naturally. I feel a little bad for it, but at the same time, what am I supposed to do? Maybe I should work towards free power. There's just so much power in this. So you basically put metal tiles here that aren't gonna melt, and then all that heat gets transferred into a water steam chamber above it, and you can get your steam, uh, steam turbine going. Solar panels are also great, but they have to be exposed to space. Oh, I need the yellow research. I don't know how to do the yellow research. Where is that? Um, there was this one, data analysis research. Consumes data banks generated by exploration. Oh boy. So that's spaced out related, so that scares me. Okay, maybe we're not gonna do steam power quite yet. Maybe not quite yet. Strikes the building. Huh. Oh, wait. No, sorry. Those are different colors. That's yellow. That's orange. Oh, that's the fourth tech. Okay, I don't need that. I need this one. Consumes rad bolts. Huh. Refines radioactive ores. Well, let's, let's work towards that. Let's see what happens. Our pitcher pumping that ethanol. Wow, how are we still not cooled off here? Crazy. It's coming back at negative 17. And it's going out at negative 19. Hmm. I guess it's hard to tell exactly because there's no. Temp Basically, you want some in the reservoir the whole time. Otherwise, it ends up not equalizing the temperature. That's part of the problem here. Yeah, you can see we don't have enough to pump 10 kilograms around the whole time. So let's go to maybe 7 kilograms. And maybe there's enough to loop that around. I'm still trying to think of other ways to produce power. Maybe I should find petroleum. I don't know what geovents are. Geothermal heat pump. That's probably really good. I assume it means free stuff. Emits high temperature materials received from the geothermal heat pump. Reconnect geothermal heat pump to what? 
the plumbing. Maybe I should try to get over there. There's also diamonds here. Oh, there's just so many things, and I need Atmo suits. How do I make those? I would like to make the suits so that they don't always have to breathe exosuit. There we go. Exosuit forge. We'll see what those cost us. Oh, these are all too warm now? Oh my god. We're making way too much heat. Way too much heat. The good news is the ethanol coming in at least is getting down to negative 10. But it's coming out at 70. That is a lot of heat getting added into this system. That is part of the problem right now. So I should probably just disable this for now. Wait until we pitcher pump all this ethanol. And yeah, we're going to call it an episode there. Um... As always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments, and I'll see you all in the next episode.